In today's video, we are going to draw a rectangle using Turtle Graphics in Python. Uh, so this is the rectangle that we are going to draw or something similar to that. So you have to go forward, then turn a 90 degree, then go another forward. And this time the length is going to be smaller than the, uh, the what we have picked before. And then we again make a right turn and then we go again forward with the same distance as what we have taken for the length. And finally we turn right and reach the starting point. So let's go ahead and start to write our program. The first thing that is that we have to import the turtle library. And the, and the way to do that is uh, from turtle import star where you are getting the entire library uh, for to be used in our program. And then we do a forward. Uh, let's go 300 and then we turn right at 90 degree. So let's run this program and see how does it look like. And before I do that, I have to do a done so that the canvas uh, sticks. So we go forward and then you see that it is turning right. So we go ahead and then repeat the same steps again. Uh, so forward. And this time, instead of going 300, we will go 100. Uh, because the length is uh, bigger than the width. And then again, we turn right 90 degree. And again, we go ahead and run this program and you can see that we go forward 90 degree turn, go forward 90 degree turn. Now we have reached to this place. So the next step is again, go and repeat the first step here. And then we go forward 300 and 90 degree here. So let me run this program. So now we would have completed three sites. And finally, we have to go forward 100. So I go forward and then go 100. And I will, we will be reaching the starting position. This is the program that we need to write for uh, drawing a rectangle. So once again, what we are doing is we are going forward 300, right? This is the first horizontal line. Now the first vertical line from here to here using this to code lines of code finally the third horizontal line here and then finally the fourth we can also add some colors like uh, so we can use a color red uh, that we can use to draw and if i run the program now so the rectangle that is gone drawn is using the rect color we can also fill the rectangle here and for doing that we have to use begin fill and once we are done with the drawing, we can use an end fill here. So let's run this program again. And then you can see that uh, once the rectangle is completed or drawn, uh, then it fills it with the red color. You also see a small arrow here that is a turtle head. We can go ahead and hide that by calling the height uh, turtle function. So this is the height turtle function that is going to hide the turtle head. So let's run it now. So it fills the rectangle and finally it's closed. Uh, the turtle head is not available or displayed anymore. So let's go back and look at the program again. So we have a color we are filling. Then we go forward for the horizontal vertical line. Then again, the horizontal line and finally the vertical line. And here it is the end fill followed by the height turtle. And then we are done with our program. So this is the first part of the program. And as you can see that some of the steps are duplicated here, like from here to here, this part, and then from here to here, this part is getting duplicated. And I can also write, uh, put a right uh, so that it is exactly consistent. So instead of repeating this to eight lines of code, uh, I can use a for loop twice and then only call this four lines of code. And for that, we are going to use a for loop for x in range. And as we said that we are going to repeat only two times. Uh, so anything that needs to be repeated has to be inside the for loop. And we created a block that needs to be repeated here by indenting it and putting it inside the for loop. So now we can remove this not needed and we can run our program and so see how it looks like. So one more time, the rectangle is drawn exactly as we wanted it to be. So 
let's go back and look at our program one more time what we did so this is the begin and the end fill for uh, uh, filling the rectangle and this is the main logic where we are actually drawing the rectangle here so we are going forward right and forward right so you're going forward right and then forward here so this is drawing the first section and when the loop repeats you go ahead and repeat the same thing to complete the rectangle here yeah if you have any questions put it in the comment section and if you like the video please subscribe to my channel thanks bye